Good morning, how's it going? I'm here with you in front of my tree. Um, I always try to switch up the background and oh, here we go. Um, so the story on the tree is that uh, if you guys read my newsletter that came out a couple days ago, um, I kind of am hands off on the tree now because I was like getting too wrapped up in how it looked. And so I hand over the tree to one of my kids. And this year um, was the first year that Reagan took over the tree. And it was so funny because she is really indecisive and she like just couldn't decide what to put on it. And so she was all done and then she said, okay, so what do you guys think? And I'm sitting here going, are you gonna put any ornaments on it? <laughs> and so we had to like talk her into a few more ornaments. So the tree is really pretty, but it's not very full, which, is fine but um yes so i'm sitting in front of my tree oh i have to show you let me see oh i think you can see the little i'm gonna take this off and off the stand and we're gonna go and look at uh can i switch it oh right there okay you just got to see my thing there's laura There's Mary. So you also see in the background these ornament, these balls here. These balls um, are from my husband's grandpa and they are like the real deal. Like they have like a little cardboard thing right there and that's what holds them in. They're super, super old. So really fun. Reagan wanted to use those this year and she didn't use all of my like mercury glass ones, which is fine even though I'm missing them. <laughs> so yeah, the red and the blue balls is where she went this year. And and there's little Nelly. And I'm just laughing. I um, whipped up like, oh, I don't know, seven or eight more sets of these because I was running out and I'm just laughing that Nellie's skirt is just fuller. Maybe it's because of the fabric or maybe it's because that she doesn't have an apron on. But I'm just laughing that I couldn't even try to make Laura's skirt as full as Nellie's and it just kind of happens. <laughs> so there, they, oh, I don't, I might. You know what? I don't have any wagons on the tree because I don't have very many wagons left. So I, um, they are all in Santa's workshop. <laughs> um, so I'm just sitting here um, packaging up prairie dolls and I'm drinking my famous cranberry tea. I don't know if you guys have heard the story of my cranberry tea. It's in the newsletter from this last month. But this is the, the legendary cranberry tea. Kind of like apple cider, but very pretty. And cinnamony with cloves and mm, it's super yummy. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. Um, yeah, there was some Christmas music on, but that was a little distracting. So I turned it off. Um, let me see. Since last time we met, um, we did have a giveaway winner for November, and that was Vanessa. Ven Vanessa, or Vanessa, I don't know. Anyway, she won a wagon ornament, and a Laura, and a Nelly, and a Mary doll. And she also won a Christmas prairie bracelet. So I'm sending those out to her this week and yes, I'm super excited that someone gets to 
open that package. So um, I do have a giveaway for December, but I haven't quite figured it out. So bear with me. I will be uh, announcing that next Tuesday and I'll try to figure out what that's going to be. Um, yes. Um, let's see what else. Oh, you notice that I have my Christmas flannel on. Yes. I'm all ready for Christmas. I need to do some wrapping. I needed a lot of wrapping and, um, yeah, it's just going great. Oh, I was going to say is that we have one other tradition that uh, we haven't done yet, mostly because I haven't been to the store to get powdered sugar. So my hus my husband, my son, Toby, who's 17, every day since we put the tree up, which was Saturday, is saying, did you go get powdered sugar? Did you go to get powdered sugar? <laughs> I'm like, not yet. <laughs> but we have these cookies that we make that are called melting moments. And they are a melting moment, let me tell you. Um, just amazing. So cranberry tea is the tradition from my side of the family. And I remember having this when I was as early as I can remember. And melting moments are from Josh's side of the family. And those are the two kind of traditions that we have at Christmas in our house. I mean, there's other things too, but those are like the two things that if there's not cranberry tea and there's not melting moments, something is wrong. So I have to go get some powdered sugar because Toby wants to make them tonight and every night of December. <laughs> So, um, speaking of traditions, it just so happens, you think I plan this, but it just so happens that this next chapter is called Traditions. I tell you. So, I have a chapter for you, and um, it's about traditions. So, maybe in the, in the background of me reading, you're thinking about the traditions that you have in your house at Christmas. Oh, Marilyn just said, make some and share for the next week. Yes, I will make melting moments and you guys can see them and they you won't be able to taste them because they do melt in your mouth. But they are super easy and um, great idea, Marilyn. Okay, this is from season one, episode 24, the last episode of season one from Founders Day. One of my favorite episodes and one of my kids' favorite episodes for sure. Um, it's chapter 59 and it's called Traditions. And I don't think I need to even give you, do I need to give you guys a thing about Founders Day, the big town picnic and all the, anyway, maybe there's somebody hasn't seen Founders Day. I doubt it. <laughs> Founders Day, let's see. The only thing you really have to know is that there's a pie baking contest and each of the ladies are bringing a recipe from long lost generations before them. So here we go. Mrs. Olson, the quote is from her and she says, I don't want to discourage you, but my recipe was handed down from generation to generation. Every family passes down a recipe or tradition, something that is repeated over and over. It can be as simple as Saturday morning blueberry pancakes or as elaborate as an authentic Chinese dinner, which my father-in-law prepares on New Year's Eve. Mrs. Olson was sure her famous family recipe would win the pie contest and Carolyn hoped hers would, but little old Mrs. Grandy's pumpkin pie stole the judge's taste buds. Her recipe had obviously been around a long time and Reverend Alden couldn't help but present her with a blue ribbon. When I was growing up, I loved rice pudding. The recipe came from my grandma Lou, who used to make it whenever we stayed at her house. Some of my fondest memories revolve around long days of swimming in her pool and having rice pudding for supper. My stepdad never considered rice pudding a sufficient main course, so my mom put a twist on the tradition. She made it only on rainy afternoons. 
coming home after a drippy school day and gathering around the simmering pot of creamy rice is a favorite memory. I have continued the same tradition with my children. Traditions hold special meaning for us and we want them to become part of the legacy for future generations. While I'll never forget the smells of cinnamon while the rain drizzled outside, I hope to leave my children with more than a few simple recipes. To start a tradition, all it takes is doing something once and then repeating it again and again until you wouldn't want it any other way. It turns out lots of people have never tasted rice pudding. One day I picked up the neighbor's kids after school when the forecast changed to rain. We shared our family tradition with them. It may not have been as tasty as Mrs. Olson's pie, but it came close. Now when the gutters begin to trickle and I gather my measuring cups, there's just one last thing to do. Double the recipe. Sharing is a tradition worth repeating. And the verse is from Psalm 78, 5 and 6, and it says, He issued his laws to Jacob. He gave his instructions to Israel. He commanded our ancestors to teach them to their children, so the next generation might know them, even the children not yet born, and they in turn will teach their own children. So I still do make rice pudding once in a while, but the problem is, is that it's like never rains here, but we do have rain in the forecast for Thursday and I do have rice in my cupboard. So I may be making rice pudding for my kids on, on that rainy day. Um, I'm not sure what your traditions are. If you have traditions that are um, brought in by a season like Christmas or if you have traditions that are brought in by some kind of weather like the first time it snows or the first day of spring or you know if there's rain clouds in the sky um, but those traditions are man they are so central to raising our families and when those things happen they trigger something, especially like in my 17 year old son, who sometimes is a little disengaged, maybe I should say, but then all of a sudden something happens where he says, it's raining. Aren't we gonna have rice pudding? It's Christmas, aren't we gonna have melting moments? And all of a sudden, there's this avenue of connection, even with a 17-year-old boy who doesn't get excited about much, let me be honest. And then all of a sudden, we're making melting moments together in the kitchen, sipping on cranberry tea, and all of a sudden, family memories happen. I don't know how it works. But it's amazing. So what are your Christmas traditions? And I think, like I said in the end of that chapter is, um, can you share them with someone? Because sharing is a tradition worth repeating. And you know, um, my, our neighbors, they did not really like the rice pudding and not everybody does. So my husband doesn't like it either. Uh, my dad didn't like it. Um, so, but we shared it with them and it was really fun. But we do always make them melting moments and we bring a plate of melting moments up to their house every year and they go wild over them. So who can you share a tradition with and maybe by sharing that tradition they just get a little tiny glimpse into your life into your story and that is how God gives us these opportunities to just share more with them and they are open when you have a plate of cookies <laughs> they are more open to hearing 
what you are all about. So that is what we're talking about. That's it. I miss see. Oh, okay. Um, I have one more question. So think about your Christmas traditions. And then also, since it is the 7th of December and Christmas is coming, just wondering, what is the reason behind your season? And I got a Christmas card, opened a Christmas card this morning and for my sweet, sweet friends. But on the back of the Christmas card is a um, passage. And I just thought I would read it because I can. I've got the camera. This is from Isaiah 9. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in a land of deep darkness on them has light shone. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as they are glad when they divide the spoil. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government, there will be no end. And that's what I'm going to leave you with this Tuesday morning. Um, what's the reason behind your season? I hope that it involves a child coming down, love coming down to us at Christmas time. So anyway, oh yeah, did you see Mo? She was just having a little crazy run um, when she is waiting too long to get a walk. She gets a little crazy. So that's her saying, if we don't go soon, I'm going to do something you don't want me to do. <laughs> So anyway, um, let's see. That's it. Next week. Okay. This week, cranberry tea. Next week, melting moments. I'll get on it. And um, I'll even, if you, I'll, for my newsletter, for my email list, I will send, I just sent you guys out the um, cranberry tea recipe. I will send out the melting moment recipe. Yes, I'll do that after our live next Tuesday. So anyway, love you guys. Hope you're good. Um, if you need something from me, books or ornaments or something, please get on it because we don't have much time. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to be shipping for like another week and then it's probably going to be too late to be shipping. So Get on that if you need anything, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I will talk to you soon, my friends. Love you all.